Oh buddy, Andy here again. This is going to be the very first vlog video post to the social media journeys uh, blog that I've set up with the aid of Ken RG and World According to Rich. So if you're watching this on YouTube, that's where it should be and that's why it's talking about the topics that it's talking about. Uh, I did a video very recently uh, and I happened to mention in there about the fact that the YouTube video is now going down. A, a popular topic and it's one of those things that everybody on YouTube talks about every so often, especially if they've been there for quite some time. Um, but for other people, for people who are just starting, they're probably out on this, they're probably wondering why we're talking about this and what does it matter and everything like that and, you know, <laughs> why does everyone get so sort of het up about it? And I think, as a couple of people pointed out, is that when, when I started on YouTube four years ago, um, YouTube in some ways was the only show in town in as much as for vloggers, for video makers as well. Yes, people were making, were doing vlogs and you could do other types of video on other sites and you could import it onto uh, MySpace, I suppose, or things like that as well. But it was YouTube that really opened up the whole vlogging side of things and video making generally. But I think the vloggers, they're the people who want to, want to say things. They're the people who want to put things out, their thoughts, ideas, etc. And people who possibly started off doing blogs as well, and maybe still do blogs, but they thought, ah, here's something different. I can put myself on camera if I feel like doing that. I can actually make a video out of it. And they probably experimented like a lot of people did. I wasn't a blogger before that. I know Ken certainly was. Um, and Rich, is, Rich is new to this game. But uh, so some people have come from it and then try something out. And that's, that's an ongoing situation here. If you've been here for a while, you, you may have burnt yourself out. You might have come along and seen this opportunity to make videos, to make vlogs, to give something a go. It's like starting a diary. Or, or that's popular statistics that you see about people who actually start up blogs. There are millions and millions, countless millions of blogs actually that have been created in the world. But the actual amount of those blogs are, are, are actually... Um, regularly updated, shall we say, that are active, if you want to put it that way, is a very much smaller figure. So many people start these things and abandon them. We've all done it, we've all been there in one way or another. And that's just the way that things go. That's progress. Um, so that's one reason why views have gone down and why people change. People just disappear. They get off of social, the social media bandwagon, I suppose. Their journey comes to an end. For others, the journey takes a fork in the road. It decides to go somewhere else. And because all those other sites have now come along that have seen those possibilities with social media, YouTube saw it. I don't expect for one moment that they expected the vlogging side of things to take off and people to do things in the way that they did. But that's the nature of the beast in some ways, if you allow people to sort of manipulate the sites and use sites for their own means, which is one reason why sites become so popular. But that's the topic for some, another day, I believe. But some people take that fork in the road and they say, right, we're not going to, I won't use YouTube anymore. I've burnt myself out. I've said all I wanted to say that. I've experimented. It wasn't for me. Um, but then other sites come along, don't they? The Facebook to this one, Twitter, two great sites, and two sites I think are going to be there for the long haul. And, and now um, they're the two of the sites that I use more than any. I was a great believer in YouTube and still am uh, to a large extent as well. But even I find myself now not watching quite so many videos on YouTube. And, even if I do, that's quite often via Twitter. It's quite often via a blog post, or it's quite often via a, an embedded video on Facebook. I embed my videos on Facebook. I advertise them, if you want to put that, put it that way, into a tweet as well. So I do exactly the same as anyone else. And therefore, why don't people use YouTube quite so much? And that's why people might, might not get discovered, because they're not actually on the site as such. They're coming in from another, another angle. I'm sure all the views and everything count. And it's even to the point now where I'm getting um, comments on my YouTube videos on Facebook. Uh, and that's, that's a new change, and I think that's really a way that things are going. And Facebook has become a one-stop um, for people. They can see everything there. They can see people's Twitter feeds. They can still keep up to date with all those people that they met online through blogs or whatever. You can put your blog posts on there. I know you can have your own personal websites, but in some ways, that's what Facebook has become. It's become your own little personal web space, hasn't it? Yes, I know it's not quite the same as having your own site which you can mould and, and change exactly as you want, but if you want to do it that way, there are other sites around, like the posteruses of this world, and, and something that Ken mentioned in, the, in a blog post on social media journeys the other day about a couple of sites that he'd seen which do specifically that, to put everything into one place. Obviously, a blog, you can do that as well. 
Um, so that's why, why people are changing, I believe, and that's the nature of, of this journey. For those who are just starting and hear us old people, old timers, talking about these sort of things, that's what it was like in those days. It's supposed to be the same as anything. It's those days when TV started or when radio started. You have one channel, a couple of different radio stations or something like that here in the, here in the UK. Certainly, we only had like three TV stations for quite a number of years, and then it started to grow, and of course now it's exploded. So the TV rating figures, even for the most popular, popular shows has gone down. It's the same everywhere. The, the, everything, the views, everything like that get more thinly spread. Uh, and new, yeah, there are new kids come on the block all the time. And that's just the way that things go. I'm enjoying it because it gives you more choice. And that's one of the things. It's more choice, more chance to see different people. And obviously with something like Facebook, you can interact with your real life friends as much as you can with your internet friends as well, which obviously isn't always possible on some of those other sites. So there you go. I just thought I'd mention that and put that up there as a social media journeys post because I thought that that was relevant for someone who might be getting into this and wondering why we're talking about this and just putting my own point of view out there and my own thoughts about the changing nature of the way that we interact with a lot of these sites here on the internet. Anyway, thanks for your time. I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye.